Hello everyone, my name is Marco Landry and today I will show you how to install a new throttle return spring on your Yamaha R3. So in my case I will be installing the Northern Racing soft pull throttle return spring as this will allow you to have much better feel and require a lot less force to turn that throttle. So stay tuned and we'll get started right now. All right guys, so the reason why I'm doing all of this is because I replaced my throttle body and my throttle tube with the Motion Pro Rev2 kit. So I am using a progressive reel and for those of you who know Motion Pro, it's the orange reel. So it's a progressive reel that allows me to have better control at low speed but get really quickly up to top speed or open throttle within a much shorter throw. So the result of this is that you have to apply a lot more force in order to get to full throttle. And that soft pull return spring will allow me to require less uh, force in order to open up the throttle. It seems like something very simple, but over the period of a day or a full race, it's definitely gonna be a lot easier on your wrist and your hands. So for me, that's the main reason why I want to do this. It should also result into some much better control as well because it won't be as hard to move the throttle up and down. In order to assemble all of this, it's gonna be fairly easy. I'm just gonna pull this boot off here, loosen up these two throttle cables. And after that, on the other side, we will just simply remove the bracket that's holding the engine in place or the motor in place. I'll disconnect the cables from there, remove the cam, and after that we will be able to replace the spring. As you can notice here, a prerequisite to do this work will be to remove, at a minimum, uh, the left fairing. Okay, so the first step will be to loosen up these two bolts here. And before I do so, I'll simply slide this boot off, this protective boot, off and uh, I'll loosen this up here and I'll remove these two metal covers and by removing these bolts now I'm able to simply remove that cover this metal cover the next step will be to unhook these cables here Okay, so it's a bit difficult to see here, but the spring is behind this bracket here. So I could, if I wanted to, remove the tank, remove the bracket that's holding the cables, and after that, try to uh, undo that nut. But I think it's gonna be a lot easier to simply remove uh, that triangle piece of metal here by removing those two bolts and this one here. And that will give me access after that, it will give me direct access to that nut and the spring as well. In this case, I'm using a 17 millimeter socket with a ratchet. And this is for the frame sliders. You know, your, the size of the bolt that you have in place might be different for your bike. But in my case, this is what I need. And after that, to remove those two bolts here, it's an internal X, which is eight millimeters. you can see the, uh, the cam and the nut. And what we want to do is loosen up this nut. And after that, we will be able to remove the cam and remove the spring and reinstall the new one. Before you do this, make sure that you either take a picture or that you remember how this cam goes back on because you want it to be the exact same way once you reinstall it. And you can see that because I've loosened up my cables at the top or they are unhooked from the throttle tube, these two cables now are loose and can be easily removed. And this way you don't have to undo that bracket. All right, so you can see now that I've been able to unhook these two wires here or these two cables. And this is for the acceleration and deceleration of the bike. 
and I don't have to remove that bracket because I've loosened up the cables by unhooking them from the throttle tube. So now in order to complete the process, we will need to unscrew this here. And this is a 10 millimeter socket that I'm gonna use for this one here. So in this case, there's a nut and behind the nut, there's a lock washer. So make sure that you don't lose any of these parts. All right, and when you remove this as well, there's a little plastic uh, sleeve behind this so make sure that the plastic sleeve stays in place and has two little grooves as well so or two little pins you want to make sure that stays in there so now you can see the difference between the two springs this is the the original spring and this is the northern racing spring so uh, big big difference in terms of size when they're fully extended and also the stiffness of the spring. So this one is a lot softer than this one. So when you reinsert this, uh, there's a little metal part here that it's probably gonna be hard to see with the camera, but you want this spring to go in like this or like so, and this, uh, there's the, the metal part of the retainer will be on top of that little uh, leg here and your cam will have a, this little part here this little tab will retain the ear part so basically I'm sandwiching everything together now with this this little leg or this little uh, curved part of the spring here on top of that middle part and I'll simply push this on and try to get proper alignment. There's one critical thing that you need to know when you push this back into uh, the right location. So this is the, uh, the urine spring and you can see there are some little dots, little um, dots that were made with a, a marker here. If I twist that spring here, you can see that that line of dots is lining up. So that's how much you need to twist that spring when you reinstall it in place. If you just slide it in, it won't have any pressure. The cam won't, get, won't come back into the right location. So after you install it, you want to test it before you put that nut back on and make sure that when you turn it like this here, it comes back to the right location all the time. That's why I'm showing you this because when you install it, you definitely want to twist that spring before you install it so that this is going to be fixed on the cam and this little leg here needs to be turned all the way to grab the air plate underneath. So now that this is in place, I'm simply going to put the lock washer and we're going to screw that nut back in place. All right, just to recap here, when you reinstall the new spring, you'll have your spring, you'll have the plastic spacer, you'll have the cam, you'll have your split washer and or your lock washer. And after that, you will have your nut on top of it. And uh, make sure that the cam is going back to its original location when you flip it and that it also can go all the way and that the spring won't bind or the, the spring won't get stuck anywhere in there and that everything is moving properly so this is critical before you reassemble everything that you check and make sure that this is working flawlessly and once you're done with this and everything is nice and secure you can simply take your cables your throttle cables and reinsert them at the right location as well so 
So now this is done. So now we can simply go back to our throttle tube and finish the process over there. And that's gonna be the reverse process from earlier. So we're simply gonna take our cables here, our throttle cable, connect them properly on our reel. Also gonna put a little bit of grease in here as well at the same time. This is done. We'll reassemble everything by reconnecting these two cable guides together. And now we will reinstall our housing. And we'll slide the boot back on, or that protective cover back on. So to validate that your installation was successful, just open up your throttle, like full throttle, and when you release it, you should hear that knocking sound where the cam will hit the stopping plate on the other side. So you can do it a few times, make sure it's fine, nothing gets stuck. And you can also verify on the other side that everything is working properly and that there's no extra slack in the cables. If you don't hear that clicking sound or if the throttle won't open fully, you can use your adjusters to adjust everything properly. So that's it folks, that's the process to install the Northern Racing Soft Pull Throttle Return Spring. If you have any questions, please post them below, send me a note. And uh, if that video was helpful, please smash that like button. And as usual, stay safe, ride safe, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.